morning everyone welcome back to the online class so as you know that we have completed our new pathways book right now we are heading towards our ncrt book okay honey comb right here we'll see the last chapter of this book honey comb ncrt book okay but before going to the chapter the topic what we are going to see today we the introduction part is given here we'll just see what is given here we'll read this and then we'll go through the chapter the topic of today's okay sport is an integral part of a healthy life it is one way in which we amuse ourselves compete with each other and stay fit of course if we play any sports it is like our important part of life when we play a sport it keep us healthy as well as it also uh, motivate us to compete with the others and to stay fit also right among the various sports such as hockey football and tennis cricket appears to be the most appealing national entertainment today yeah of course uh, many of you may like football matches many of you may like uh, cricket hockey foot football or basketball or many you know these are our national entertainment today right how much do we really know about the game called cricket okay now we going to ask that how much we know about the cricket right how much you know about the cricket what are the information you have what you can give about the cricket and all what information you can give to me about the cricket what you know about the cricket how i can know that you know uh, really about the cricket so well we will have some conversation over it okay but first let's see what is the topic of today's okay so as it is said that sport is our important part of our life it keep us healthy and to compete with each other also it motivate us to compete with each other and among various sports i think uh, cricket is the most popular one right and but most of the people also like hockey basketball tennis right so today's topic will be the story of cricket now we are going to see one of the sport that is cricket will see how it came uh, when it came and what were the rules and regulations when the rules and regulation was made this is all the things we are going to see in this chapter okay the story of cricket itself saying that we are going to learn something very like a uh, um, uh, very old a uh, story about the cricket when it got started when uh, the rules and regulation were made what were the club when the things were placed and so on so on so on many things are there okay so let's see we will first see the first part of this chapter the story of cricket okay cricket grew out of the many stick and ball games played in england 500 years ago so how does this cricket came out this cricket came out with many sticks and balls were played okay 500 years ago in england people used to play with the stick and the balls okay and there this gave the idea of bat and a ball okay the word bat is an old english word that simply means stick or club okay this bat is derived from uh, stick okay once uh, earlier people used to play with the stick right people used to play with the stick and the balls right and there on they started to play with the bat they increases the width of the stick and now we know that stick as a bat by the 17th century cricket had evolved enough to be recognizable as a distinct game right yeah like by the 17th century it was totally believed it was uh, like uh, cricket was recognized by everyone and everyone was really appreciate uh, appreciating and also participated in that cricket game till the middle of the 18th century bats were roughly the same shape as hockey sticks curving outward at the bottom 
you know what uh, earlier this cricket bat was also seemed like a hockey stick it was like curved at the outward at the bottom of that stick okay that bottom of that bat why it was uh, like curved there was a simple reason for this what was the reason for having a curve curved bottom of the bat what was the reason the reason was that the ball was bowled under the arms niche se ground se ball diya jata tha and that is the reason it gives the batsman to hit the ball to get a chance to hit the ball okay along the ground and the curve at the end of the bat gave the batsman the best chance of making contact of this bat and the ball this was the reason why it was curved at the bottom okay i will ask the question what was the reason of having the bat uh, curved bottoms okay i will ask the question so i gave the reason also why it was because it gave the chance the batsman to uh, gave a good connection between the bat and the ball because earlier the bowler bowled the ball under the arms not in the air right? like uh, in modern era one of the peculiarities of cricket is that a test match can go for 5 days oh yeah like uh, some uh, very uh, unusual thing about the cricket is that it can go for 5 days of course and still a uh, draw still having a draw but the panch din ke baad bhi cricket acche se khelne ke baad bhi panch din ke baad what happens it becomes a draw draw means what it neither uh, the side of the, like uh, nobody wins in this game okay draw means dono taraf barabar hona and nobody win no other modern team support uh, sport takes even half as much time to complete yeah like uh, in modern games modern sport no uh, game just take uh, the time the how much this cricket takes time a football match for example a football match is generally over in an hour or half an hour okay half an hour mein khatam ho jata hai ya fir wo like uh, in an hour mein khatam ho jata hai even a baseball completes nine inning in less than half the time it takes to play a limited over match yes limited over match khela jata hai uh, cricket mein but usse bhi kam like baseball jo khela jata hai nine innings ka khela jata hai nine innings ka baseball khela jata hai game और स्टिल ये क्रिकेट के लिमिटेड ओवर से कम टाइम लेता है थिंक अबाउट इट द शॉर्ट एंड वर्जन ऑफ मॉडर्न क्रिकेट नाउ वी कैन सी द शॉर्ट एंड वर्जन राइट अनदर क्यूरियस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ क्रिकेट इज दैट द लेंथ ऑफ द पीच इज स्पेसिफाइड मतलब द लेंथ ऑफ द पीच वेयर द बाउलर्स एंड द बैट्समैन प्ले राइट there we can say the pitch or like length is fixed it is of 22 yards okay it means the uh, where they were running to take the run the batsman run to take the run the place uh, is the pitch is made up of 22 yards only but the shape the shape or size of the ground is not लेकिन साइज और शेप है जो ग्राउंड का इट इज़ नॉट फिक्सड मोस्ट अदर टीम स्पोर्ट्स सच एज हॉकी एंड फुटबॉल ले डाउन द डायमेंशन ऑफ द प्लेइंग एरिया येस ऑफकोर्स मोस्ट ऑफ द प्ले लाइक स्पोर्ट्स हॉकी एंड जो ये फुटबॉल है इनका डायमेंशन फिक्सड होता है अगर हंड्रेड स्क्वायर मीटर है तो हंड्रेड स्क्वायर मीटर ही रहेगा हर ग्राउंड में अगर हंड्रेड स्क्वायर मीटर नहीं है फुटबॉल और हॉकी का तो वहाँ पर आप नहीं खेल सकते वो गेम लेकिन क्रिकेट में ऐसा नहीं है इट हैज़ मेनी शेप्स इट हैज़ मेनी शेप्स ग्राउंड कैन बी ओवल लाइक एडिलेड ओवल और नियरली सर्कुलर येस जो एक स्टेडियम है ठीक है एडिलेड स्टेडियम है वो कैसा है ओवल है और या फिर सर्कुलर है लेकिन लाइक चेपोक चेपोक इन चेन्नई a six at the Melbourne cricket ground needs to clear much more ground than it does at Feroz Sak 
Kotla in Delhi. So these are the names of stadium, okay, which are really like um, has different shape and size. Uh, some are oval, some are circular, uh, some may be like a uh, uh, rhombus size, some may be quadrilateral. Maybe they have their different shapes and different dimensions, right? And the it is said that. 22 yards of the pitch is fixed but it but the size but the space the dimension of the ground is not fixed for the cricket there's a historical reason behind both these oddities uh, what is the reason behind this cricket was the earliest modern team sport to be codified okay this cricket was the very uh, oldest and the earliest team sport इसके पहले कोई भी टीम स्पोर्ट नहीं खेला जाता टीम स्पोर्ट कब स्टार्ट हुआ जब क्रिकेट खेला गया ओके सो इट वाज द एज अर्लीएस्ट एंड स्पोर्ट्स टू बी कॉडिफाइड कॉडिफाइड मींस व्हिच हैज व्हिच अप्लाइड सम रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस द फर्स्ट रिटन लॉ ऑफ क्रिकेट वर ड्रॉन अप इन 1744 दे स्टेटेड द प्रिंसिपल शैल choose from amongst the gentlemen present two empires who shall absolutely decide all disputes yeah the first law was made that there should be an umpire who will decide who will give all the absolute decisions okay the stumps must be of 22 inches this was this are the first written law for the cricket was made okay codified one okay cricket was the first team sport to be codified okay and what are the uh, like laws made that there will be two umpires uh, there will the stumps will uh, the height of 22 inches high the bail across them 6 inches like gulli jo uske upar rakha rehta hai na two uh, to uska bail ka kaisa hoga inches 6 inches hoga and the ball must be of 5 and 6 ounces matlab uska jo weight hoga bowl ka wo kaisa hoga wo 5 to 6 ounces tak ही होगा and the two sets of stumps two yard और पहले के time में दो ही stump रहते थे ठीक है दो ही stump रहते थे like दो stick रहता था stump का तीसरा नहीं रहता था दो इधर दो उधर और दोनों के बीच में कितना distance 22 yards जहां पे वो batsman दौर कर run ले सकता है apart the world's first cricket club was formed in Hambledon and in 1760s and Melbourne, Melbourne, okay, cricket club. So NCC it is said to, okay. So Hambledon and Melbourne, this was the first cricket club was founded in 1787. Okay, no, Hambledon was uh, founded in 1760s and Melbourne was founded in 1787. This was the two cricket club was formed where cricket was played. During 1760s and 1770s, it became common to pitch the ball through the air rather than roll it along the ground. Abhi jaise pehle ke time pe roll karke de de the ball ko niche se de de the, ana? Lekin ab kya hua? Thoda sa changes aaya. Ab yeh log hawa mein hath ghuma kar ball ko fekna start kiye. This change gave bowlers the option of length, deceptions through the air. Plus increased the pace even. It also opened new possibilities for spin and swing. In response, batsmen had to master timing and short selection. One immediate result was the replacement of the curved bat with the straight one. The weight of the ball was limited to the between five and half to five and half ounces yes wo 5 to 6 ounces ka hi ball hona chahiye and the width of the bat to 4 inches aur jo bat ka width kitna hona chahiye 4 inches ka width hona chahiye so hawa mein jaise ball dena start kiya batsman ke paas bhi apna dimag lagana tha ki wo kis time pe hit karega correct timing of hitting the ball aur bowlers ko bhi bahut sara option diya like swing karwana like uh, uh, usko uh, uh, what we say, uh, wait a minute, uh, 
स्विंग करवाना स्पिन करवाना और अभी तो नकल बॉल एंड वॉट वॉट नॉट गेम इन द क्रिकेट ग्राउंड न बाउलर्स यूज देयर ऑन ट्रिक टू आउट द बैट्समैन सो दैट द ऑपोजिट टीम कुड नॉट विन कुड नॉट स्कोर मच रन राइट एंड बैट्समैन को भी बहुत सारा ऑप्शन दिया उसको टाइमिंग uh, के लिए कि कैसे वो अपने शॉट को सिलेक्ट करे और एक अच्छा सा प्ले कर सके और उसके बाद uh, सबसे पहला चीज़ क्या फिक्स हुआ बाउल बॉल का वेट फाइव एंड हाफ टू फाइव एंड आउंसेस तक ही रहेगा उससे ज़्यादा नहीं बैट का अब विथ हो गया फोर इंचज In 1774, the first leg before law was published. First leg before uh, ये stump होता है leg before law का ठीक है वो stump के आगे अगर आपका leg अगर पैर अगर pad पर hit किया ball तो you are the out. ये 1774 सेवेंटी फोर में सबसे पहला इस चीज़ को फॉलो किया गया था Also around this time, a third stump became common. By 1780, three days had become the length of a major match, and this year also saw the creation of the first six seam cricket ball. So these were the law which was made at the time of 1780, and अब क्या हुआ है? Three days का ही match होगा. कितना भी मरा बड़ा मैच क्यों ना हो इट विल ओनली एड फोर एंड फॉर द थ्री डेज ओके इफ यू लुक एट द गेम्स इक्विपमेंट यू कैन सी हाउ क्रिकेट बोथ चेंज विद द चेंजिंग टाइम्स एंड येट फंडामेंटली रिमेन ट्रू टू इट्स ओरिजिन इन रूरल इंग्लैंड ओके रूरल इंग्लैंड में आज भी वैसा ही गेम खेला जाता है वैसा ही क्रिकेट खेला जाता है बट नाव अ डेज वी कैन सी इन आर कंट्री इन अदर कंट्रीज ऑल्सो मैनी लॉ केम मैनी बाउलर्स देयर आर प्लेइंग विद देयर ओन ट्रिक मैनी लाइक बैट्समैन आर देयर टू हिट द बॉल many rules came in modern time but in rural england now now also they play the same uh, techniques with its origin jaise wo aaya cricket's most important tools are all made of natural pre-industrial material yes cricket ka jitna bhi saman hota hai wo natural cheezon se banata hai jaise cotton ball लाइक बैट वुड्स का बना रहता है ना इंडस्ट्रियल मटेरियल से नहीं मतलब प्री इंडस्ट्रियल मटेरियल मतलब इंडस्ट्रियल मटेरियल के जो पहले प्रोडक्ट होता है वो प्री मीन्स पहले द बैट इज मेड विद लेदर ट्वाइन एंड कॉर्क वो बैट किस चीज़ से बना रहता है लेदर से ट्वाइन से एंड कॉर्क से Even today, both bat and ball are handmade. वो दोनों आज भी handmade है कोई भी उस मशीन का use नहीं होता है Not industrial मैनुफैक्चर The material of the bat changed slightly over time. Once it was cut out of a single piece of wood, now it consists of two pieces. The blade, which is made out of the wood of the below. The material of the bat changed slightly over time. Once it was cut out of a single piece of wood, now it consists of two pieces: the blade, which is made out of the wood of the willow tree, and the handle, which is made out of cane, that became available as European colonial sets. And trading companies established themselves in Asia. So, पहले के टाइम पे एक वुड से सारा चीज बन जाता था लेकिन आजकल हैंडल और जो उसका ब्लेड होता है नीचे वाला वो सारा चीज डिफरेंट चीजों से बना रहता है अलग अलग टाइप टू पीसेस में टू ट्रीज के प्रोडक्ट को यूज किया जाता है ओके अनलाइक गोल्फ एंड टेनिस क्रिकेट हैज री refuse to remake its tools with industrial or man-made material like tennis or golf ne accept kiya changes ko aur industrial product ko use kiya lekin cricket ne aaj tak koi bhi industrial product man-made product ko use nahi kiya okay they are all always going for the natural main man-made natural things aur handmade hi rehte hain koi bhi industrial cheez usme involve nahi hote hain like plastic fiber glass or metal has been firmly rejected for this cricket game but in the matter of protective equipment hai na protective equipment means what while playing the cricket we need to protect our body parts right to us cheez ko protect karne ke liye bahut sari equipment hai jaise 
cricket has influenced by the technological change the invention of vulcanized rubber led to the introduction of pads in 1848 and protective gloves soon afterwards and the modern games would be un- unimaginable without helmets made out of metals and synthetic लाइट वेट मटीरियल येस आज के टाइम पर अगर आप बिना हेलमेट का क्रिकेट खेलोगे तो आई एम श्योर यू विल गेट हर्ट सीवियरली यू विल गेट हर्ट ओके बट अर्लियर इट वॉज नॉट बट नाउ इट इज इट इज वी कैन नॉट इमेजिन अ स्पोर्ट अ क्रिकेट विदाउट अ हेलमेट वी नीड अ हेलमेट वाइल प्लेइंग इट एंड इट इज मेड अप ऑफ मेटल्स एंड सिंथेटिक लाइट वेट मटीरियल मतलब उसका जो प्लेइंग इक्विपमेंट्स है वो नेचुरल चीज़ है लेकिन प्रोटेक्टिव इक्विपमेंट्स दे आर मेड अप ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल टोटली एंड फुल्ली प्रोटेक्टिव वन ओके सो क्रिकेट इज ऑरिजिनली अ और एन इंडियन गेम ब्रिटिश गेम और इंटरनेशनल गेम व्हाट इट इज जस्ट टेल मी ओके मार्क द राइट आंसर गिव मी द आंसर इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन देर इज अ हिस्टोरिकल रीजन बिहाइंड बोथ दिस ऑडिट इट इज In the preceding two paragraphs, find two word or phrases that mean the same as oddities. Oddities मतलब जो like uh, दोनों एक दूसरे से अलग अलग हैं दोनों एक दूसरे से match नहीं करते तो you have to tell me the phrases. Okay, we will discuss this in the एम एस ट्रीम क्लास ओके हाउ इज़ अ क्रिकेट बैट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अ हॉकी स्टिक हाउ हाउ तो जस्ट गो थ्रू द चैप्टर एंड विद द एक्सप्लेनेशन यू कैन गिव इट टू मी राइट so we'll give the answers tomorrow if you don't know the answer okay so bye everyone have a nice day to all and i hope you guys are enjoying this chapter because this is the practical or you are just following you are just watching match in your um, like uh, day to day life so you will understand this well so go for it and please um, understand the chapter well okay bye everyone have a nice day to all